Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, it's very nice to have you here. It's good to be here. Uh, so it's been a while. For me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, um, I don't remember when you were the last time here, but uh, the first vinyl records I have of yours is came out of my house, and then uh-huh. the three, uh, two next ones, uh-huh. uh, and then I uh, bought uh, your your this uh, DVD, live DVD. Oh yeah. And of course the last three albums of yours, they, they are real critical successes. Do you think that there is going some kind of a renaissance or a renaissance for... Yeah, uh, rena- yeah, <laughs> yeah. well we, we feel both uh, musically and also just as the reception for what we're doing that there is a renaissance uh, yeah. for, for Sparks. We, we kind of got motivated more with little Beethoven starting with that and yeah. Hello Young right. Lovers and yeah. And exotic creatures were we had, we had always been working within with song songs, even right. if they're sort of eccentric yeah. songs, yeah. still song structures. Yeah. And, and we had written twenty songs for what was going to be Little Beethoven. And we realized that we just kind of felt that we were just kind of going through the motions, you know, that yeah. we weren't we weren't kind of pushing ourselves enough. Yeah. So we decided just to throw away all the songs. <sighs> It's hard for me because I'm <laughs> the chief songwriter okay. and every song is yeah. my little baby, yeah. you know. So, but we decided in order to really have a a different kind of sound to what we were yeah. doing, even though it's still part sensibility, yeah. but yeah. Different, as much of a different sound as we could yeah. come up with, yeah. that we had to work in a different way. So we just went into the studio without without any songs, and and the the result was kind of. Uh, something uh, kind of a bit of a break from what we had done before yeah. and we we sort of continued in that same kind of way I mean yeah. we we have kind of come in with a, a few songs but yeah. by and large we kind of right yeah. now just we're in the studio yeah. you know, uh-huh. do yeah. one thing and okay. then that leads to yeah. something yeah. else and it, it seems that there's some kind of a theme Going through the the re- latest records, yeah, it's, it's like chamber pieces or pop symphony yeah, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's not a specific theme, but it's a. They kind of make yeah. sense uh, yeah. in, in as a whole thing, yeah, and, and we're you know we're just trying to. We, our love has always been for pop music, but we're mm-hmm. trying to kind of push the limits of what pop music can be. Yeah. Yeah, in 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 the song "Strange Animal" from the newest album, you say that the song lacks heart, uh, comes all uh, off overly smart, uh, and then also an an emotional core. And that's what songs are for. <laughs> Some of the Spark songs resemble kind of architectural uh, designs or musical sculpture uh, more than simple songs. Do you still think that there is a heart in those songs? Uh, and and do you think that it, it, it's uh, it's uh, that uh, that you have to know you should know from the start if it's entertainment or art? Well, that that <laughs> part of it may actually that part of it may be less so. I I I actually like the fact that you can't even though the character in the song is saying that I, yeah. I like yeah. the thing where you can't tell yeah. whether it's entertainment yeah. or art. Yeah. We've always yeah. kind of yeah. straddled that. Yeah. the line of whether it's yes. one or the other, okay. but yeah. but as far as having an emotional core, yeah. I mean, it sounds you know kind of pretentious, but mm-hmm. we always try to have it where it's working on two levels, where even yeah. if there's humor within a song, mm-hmm. that it does have some kind of emotional yeah. feel, yeah. Like, you know, a song like "When Do I Get to Sing My Way," oh, where yeah. it sounds sort of you know it can be kind of a a frivolous idea, but it it it's, it is really uh, heartfelt from yeah. our yeah. standpoint. And, yeah. and in general, we try to to ha- have songs have an emotional core. Yeah. So even yeah. if yeah. even if you can't tell whether it's entertainment or art, we mm-hmm. hope yeah. that you can feel the emotional yeah. part yeah. of the yeah. song. It's just in the lyrics. Lyrics. It seems like you were kind of uh, being self-critical, or maybe. 
maybe trying to say first the things that maybe some it's, can't no, come exactly, exactly. No, it's true. It's, you like, the, it's like what, yeah. what maybe uh, a critic who really wasn't all that uh-huh. aware of what we're doing might say about, about yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, as you said, you have that, that kind of songs that uh, when do I get to see my way or or um, or, or um, number one in heaven or maybe some other others from from the start of your your, your career uh, that are not like those later chamber pieces of of Bob, of Bob Simpson is. I I find that there is some kind of you know American songbook kind of quality like there there are standards from from the that, that, that uh, go through the ages, they have that kind of feeling. Well, that, I mean, it's nice, because yeah. I've always, at least, especially lyrically, I've always respected, like, Cole Porter and George Gershwin, you know, so yeah. those, those are the kind of people yeah. I really, <laughs> we're not trying to be this, you know, yeah. nostalgic about yeah. the way yeah. we write, but, yeah. but that kind of, uh, it's more than craftsmanship, it's, yeah. I mean, it's really artistry, yeah. but just, yeah. To be to be able to bring both a simplicity yeah. Yeah. and also a real sophistication yeah. to the lyrics is something I really respect and and those people yeah. you know well yeah. you know especially Cole Porter because yeah, he Cole, wrote, yeah. he yeah. solely wrote the lyrics too yeah. as well as the music. So yeah. I I um that's kind of what I look to more than kind of contemporary um, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's very nice because today in our paper, my my review of this record was was there in in today's paper, and I said that there's some kind of a cold water or Irving Berlin quality. Oh, <laughs> it's nice to hear that. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. And in London, you have just played your 21 times 21 concert, all your albums in a row. That must be unique. That must be uh, nobody's done that before. Uh, uh, how was the experience, and was that one of the ways that Sparks is trying to get down in history through the Guinness Book of Records? Well, par- partially that, and we, I, we may may have succeeded on that level. And, and I mean, another reason was, well, first of all, we we really felt that we were one of the few, yeah. few maybe the only band that could do that. Where our newest album is something that's um, creatively we feel as strong as yeah. as earlier works of art yeah. ours and yeah. there are other bands that have had that many albums mm-hmm. but I, I mm-hmm. think that they first of all they wouldn't want to go through that process yeah. <laughs> and then also just their newer material might not yeah. be kind of as, as interesting yeah, yeah. so yeah. we felt that we were in a unique yeah. position and we the, the process was Kind of ridiculous because we we rehearsed with the band for four months oh, yeah. in Los Angeles before yeah. we came, and uh, you know we did every song from every album, track one, yeah. whatever the track is, yeah. and then we always did an encore song that was sort of a, a rarity or a B side. So yes. it was like over 250 yeah. Yeah. songs, <laughs> but the yeah. reaction was was. Yeah was really amazing. Okay, so we, I haven't yet uh, read the reviews. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, how was it for you as a songwriter? Uh, did it uh, bring new thoughts about your past uh, composition, trying to have them live? Uh, well, in a, in a certain yeah. kind of uh, um, ar- arrogant way, in a way, <laughs> I, I, that looking back, some of the albums seem like they might not have been as strong as other albums, just because the ones that were kind of commercially more successful tend to yeah. stay with you because you've yeah. kind of been touring more with oh, them and all. Okay. So there were albums that were never as successful commercially, but yeah. playing them all live and putting them all kind of on, on an equal uh, basis, yeah. it was encouraging to hear those yeah. albums. Yeah. And our band is so strong. Yeah. Uh, that they they really kind of made it uh, yeah. like a lot living the, yeah. all of those songs. We yeah. didn't we didn't really we didn't modernize the songs, mm-hmm. but then playing them live, it's going to take on a yeah. slightly different character. Okay. So in, in any case, I was really yeah. as a, as a, sort of a bonus to doing yeah. the whole thing. It yeah. was 
it was just inspiring me to hear a lot of those songs yes. that yeah. actually were pretty good. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, about the visual side of the spot, your videos are always very really inspired, like short films with storylines even. So um, they seem to cry out for a bigger uh, film for Sparks, a, pr a project like that. Uh, is there something cooking up in, in that side? Are we going to see a Sparks movie someday? We're, okay. we're <laughs> hoping to... We had been working on a yeah. movie musical in the late, yeah. very late 80s and then, and then starting the 90s called My The Psychic Girl was based on a Japanese comic strip. It, it was going to be live action. Yeah. And we, we spent about five years going through quite a few directors uh, and it was a project that a lot of directors really yeah. were attracted to because yeah. the music was in the same sense that we kind of are in our own area as far as pop music, it was in its yeah. own area as far as a movie musical, but in any case there's a new kind of life to that thing that we're We've had some meetings in London uh, just during this last period, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we don't want to get too hopeful because we yeah. wasted five years of hope the last time. Ah, but, yeah. but it's, it's yeah. that same project, and we're yeah. hoping that there's a chance yeah. for that. Okay. okay, and then the last question, so that you can have <laughs> some time for yourself. Um, those uh, little, little Beethoven and uh, Hello Young Lovers, those you made also as live DVD. Is, uh, did they film your your concerts for the 21 times 21? Are is they going to be perhaps a DVD box someday in the future? Well, we we hope so because we filmed them. We didn't film them as uh, as kind of uh, with as many cameras because we we actually filmed all the shows. Yes, and, but uh, it, it was done on on kind of less of a scale. Mm -hmm. But we're hoping to maybe put together some kind of compilation of mm -hmm. selections from each of the albums and then maybe end with having some of the new album because yeah. the uh, we it, the, the the new album uh, Exotic Creatures we moved to a larger venue in London mm -hmm. just to that one yeah. and the reaction was was kind of was actually pretty unbelievable and we're we you know maybe we can do it again and do it in kind of a more uh, sophisticated uh -huh. manner, but there is a video that we, we have shot okay. of, of, of that and we're hoping to come out with it. Someday. You're still uh, thinking about doing it again. Yeah, no, I mean, well, not, no. not, not the 21, <laughs> okay. but the, okay. the complete but the new one if we okay. can. We're, okay. Tonight we're going to do uh, select, you know, selections. Yeah. We, we kind of thought, since we haven't played in Helsinki in, in yeah, a long time, time yeah. that that it's sort of unfair to come here and just present a okay. new album in its mm. totality, but we yeah. are going to do yeah. quite a good selection of the new songs uh, tonight as well. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Would you sign my... Sure, sure. Please, sure. Still? Yes, that would be very nice. I don't know if this is rare. I found it in some sale. One. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> yeah. it, it was a, a video CD and also a, an, a, a CD in it, and, and those five or four songs. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't, I've, I've never seen that. Yeah. Okay. It's strange. Okay. Uh, to, uh, to, to you or, or uh, just, just your name. Just okay. That's your name. Okay. Yeah. Did you, Did you want me to get Russell's uh, signature? Because I can get... If you can, that yeah, would sure. be nice. But can I take a photograph of you? So you okay, find. sure. Thank you. Yeah, that would be nice. And they said that we can, for the first three songs, for the press photo. Okay. Without without the light. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe we can get Russell to scribble his name on these. Oh, that would be very nice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, pleasure. I hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, I will. I will. We won't wait until 30 years. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, good luck to the show. Yeah, thank See you. Yeah, thank you. Ja 16.6.2008 haastateltiin Ron Meilia Sparks-yhteistä.